Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Picture Effects tutorial series, you will learn how to create picture disk for icons in PowerPoint. Let me show you what I mean by this. This is a picture disk in PowerPoint. Let us say you want to create your own custom icons where you want to add a photo on top of this, maybe the photo of a particular machinery or the photo of a particular place. You can have this uh, picture disk as a very handy icon which is completely custom made. So let us see how to create this beautiful picture disk in PowerPoint from scratch. Let us go to a new slide. The first step is to draw a circle. For this, let me go to Auto Shapes menu and under Basic Shapes, click on Oval Tool and while holding the Shift key, draw a circle. The next step is to right click, go to Format Shape and apply the effect options and the effect option that I'm going to apply is called as 3D Rotation. The 3D Rotation preset I'm going to use is under Perspective and it is called as Perspective Relaxed. So click on it and there you have the perspective relaxed effect applied to this circle that we have just created. The next step is to go to 3D format and apply a bevel. So the top bevel that you're going to use is called as slope. So click on that one. This looks attractive by itself. Maybe we can make it even more attractive by increasing the width and height of this top bevel. So instead of six points, let me make it into 10 and 10 for width and height. So that is more like the way I want it. The next thing is to increase the depth. So I'm going to add 20 points or say 25 points for depth. I don't really like this default blue color. So for shape outline, I'm going to use a tan color so that it looks more attractive. Now I'm going to change the material from this a warm matte to special effect called as dark edge. Now you can see some nice sheen. Let me add some shadow to make this 3D object grounded because if you don't add a shadow, usually any 3D object would look like it's dangling in air. So let's go to the preset of shadow. The, the preset that I'm going to use is under outer. It is called as offset center. Let me increase the size of the shadow from 1 or 2 percent to, yeah, this looks good enough. So 1 or 8 percent looks attractive. Now all that is left for me to do is to fill this beautiful circular disk with the picture of my choice. So let me go to the fill option and the fill that I'm going to use is not the solid fill but a picture fill. Now this picture is already there in the clipboard and that is the reason why uh, you're able to do it. Otherwise, you can always go to file option and choose the picture that you want to use uh, as icon and press insert and that picture gets filled. And that is it. Your picture disk in PowerPoint is created, which is nice and shiny. As you can see here, you can always increase the size or reduce to suit your specific requirement. Okay, now let me make it into medium and this is uh, the final effect. Knowing how to work with pictures and combining it with the power of custom animation can make your business slides go to a whole new level. Let me show you some example templates taken from our custom animation templates pack and you can see how we have used the picture effects with custom animation. The first example template is this one which talks about keyword and definition. So this is the picture and you have the keyword here and see how the description text is moving slightly to draw the viewers attention to the text there. The next one is this one which has Twitter style messages in PowerPoint. The first message comes here and goes and rests at the bottom. When you click again, you have the second message with photo which rests right on top of the previous one. And the third one 
and the fourth one so this is a very interesting way if you are making a presentation about social media this is a very interesting way to present your points instead of the usual bullet points let me show you another example template this one talks about four points that come one after another when i click the first point with photo it comes up when i click the previous one moves away and the second one pops up with the associated text and the third one with associated text the fourth one with associated text and when i click finally all the four photos pop up here to serve as a summary so that is a very useful very interesting effect if you want to highlight four points instead of the usual bullet points this is uh, the final example template this talks about five sides of a story so you can have a picture in the middle and one view here when i click another picture comes in and you have the associated text here when i click again the picture the view changes and you have the third one and this is the fourth picture and the associated text and the final picture and the associated text the beauty of all these templates is they are all 100% editable you can always change these images using the fill picture option fill with picture and this is how the slide looks so click on this and you can go to shape fill and you can use the picture option to replace this picture with any other picture of your choice if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have time to create such professional effects and custom animation to your uh, business slides you can always take a look at off the shelf solutions like our 630 plus advanced custom animation templates for powerpoint all 630 custom animation templates use very advanced techniques in custom animation which might take hours if you were to do it from scratch and it is very easy to work with these templates all you need to do is to choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional quality business slides has never been easier hope you liked our tutorial on creating picture disk for icons in powerpoint if you want to learn more such tutorials please visit us at presentationprocess.com you can watch a lot of videos you can read articles about presentation skills and powerpoint skills and it is a very useful site to bookmark thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting